In this tutorial, I am finishing up some ad sets, need to change background music, wanted to show you exactly how to change the background music or add background music to your video ads when editing in Premiere Pro. So if we open up Premiere Pro, you can see that we're working on some ads for this awesome potential partnership between Silent and the Iron Sights podcast. All right, so if we listen to this music. Hey guys. I want to tell you about the E3 crossbody Faraday bag by uh, Silent. Plenty of room for my wallet, sunglasses here. In the All right, so it's very, very ambient, which is okay. But we want to add some more rock and roll, uh, kind of a modern rock ambient track. All right, so now we were sent an example song, something like this. Now this is a copyright free song from YouTube. So we wanna head over to Artlist. We are not sponsored by Artlist, not getting any money for this video, but um, Artlist is one of the many sites that we do like to use for royalty free music. All right, so the way I like to use Artlist is we're gonna go by genre. We're gonna hit this with rock. We're going to hit it with ambient and can even try some hip hop. Let's do that. See what happens here. Picking the music is always the damn hardest part. It takes forever. Oh, that's cute. What is going on here, dude? All right, we got to take out this ambient word. We don't need a rapper in the background. Let's just get some instrumentals going. We got one, we got one. Can't do it. Got another one. Hey. I mean, shit, it could work, right? All right, so now that we have some music downloaded, we're ready to roll. Let's go ahead, come to our Chrome browser, and I like to just take that music downloaded file and drag it straight into Premiere Pro. You need to have both things open, but that works easiest for me. All right, zoom up on this timeline here, and I already know that we're gonna have to double click our music track, come up, click audio, click mixer, and bring the music down in volume. Let's do that before we even listen to it. Hey guys, I wanna tell you about the E3 crossbody Faraday bag by uh, silent. Plenty of room for my wallet, sunglasses here in this middle pocket. More pockets on the inside, like a mesh pocket so you can kind of see inside. This is unique in that it has a Faraday pack by silent for my cell phone. Once I drop it in this bag, simply- All right, so we got that new music. Let's listen to the old music. Simply put it in there, fold it over. Let's fold it over. It's got these two little uh, uh, Sleepy like time, right? On the back, I can slide that right down inside my bag, and now I am completely off grid. All right, so we're swapping it out with something a little Absolute more. Back, I can slide that right down inside my bag, and now I am completely off grid. Completely off grid. A little too much here. Once I drop it in this bag, 
Simply put it in there, fold it over. It's folded over. It's got these two little. Uh, uh, big All right, so it's about just kind of bringing that audio level down, bringing that down a little bit. And then what I did is I searched up an effect called exponential fade. I dropped that on the end. And now I can just come in. I'm going to replace that old audio track. Um, and this is with a edited video. So, you know, sometimes you do music first, sometimes you do it last. In this case, you know, I'm replacing it. We got to update the music and change it. So that is how you can select a song. We used Artlist, bring it into Premiere Pro, change the audio levels. Um, and then, you know, of course you can copy this. You can hold down Alt and you can drag it over. And we can delete this guy and we can replace, you know, this, this video with it as well. You can do a lot of things. You can duplicate, you know, the audio track, you can change the speed of it to make it, you know, sound faster or a little bit slower. You can loop it, you know, by finding a specific point in time where the kind of bass hits or you can repeat it. So lots of different ways to play with audio. Um, let's do this one more time. I'll just show you this process one more time. First, let's listen to this and then we'll bring in one of the other audio tracks. Think about this, having all of your personal information on it. It is basically a gateway to your personal life, whether that's your nude photos, your credit card uh, numbers, your social security number, tax records, uh, phone numbers, passwords, all that stuff. If you ever lost one of these or had your stuff hacked and I had all right, cool. That's going to sound good. And then let's go ahead and grab another one. I'll show you another trick here. We changed the audio last time. This time I'm going to double click this audio track, come up to effects control, take the volume from it, control copy. And then I'm going to click on the um, music that I just brought in and click control paste on it. And it will change the volume on that and match volumes so just a little trick for you if you picked it up you know what i'm talking about if i just want to quickly access my phone it's real simple i take it out it's already on i just tap it it's going to pick up my face id and already i'm on the network uh, it's that fast uh, but while it's in here i have total peace of mind that i don't have to worry about my stuff getting hacked into um, it's about selecting the portion of the song you want. So I want it to start here. If I just want to quickly access my phone, it's real simple. I take it out. It's already on. I just tap it. It's going to pick up my face ID and already I'm on the network. Uh, it's that fast. Um, but while it's in here, I have total peace of mind that I don't have to worry about my stuff getting hacked. Into. It's actually a really sick company, uh, or, Silent. You know, if you guys don't know about it, check it out. Doing. All right, that's looking good. We got one more song to work with here. So let's bring this this guy in and let's actually um, come into our other sequence and see what we could do with this song. I could paste again. It's going to change the audio volume because I didn't copy anything else. So I know that, um, you know, that's that. We want to bring the audio volume down. Usually it's just way too loud if somebody's talking. Remember how I was telling you how my bank account got hacked? So I found out about this company, Silent, right after this happened. Uh, they make some pretty cool products, which basically protects your electronic devices from ingoing or outcoming stuff, so you're not going to get it. Remember how I was telling you how my bank account got hacked? So I found out about this company, Silent, right after this happened. Uh, they make some pretty cool products, which basically protects your electronic devices from ingoing or outcoming stuff, so you're not gonna get hacked. Uh, you should check it out. It looks good, it feels good, uh, super sleek. Interesting, that could work. It's a little weird, but hey. All right, that's a good starting point for the next ad here. Let's play this shit. All of our personal information is out there. And the thing to think about is you've probably put it out there. Credit card numbers, you've got bank accounts, you've got passwords, you've got private information. So when you think about the ways that they get it, you're thinking about like Wi-Fi and open networks, RFID, how information gets transferred from everything from like your credit card 
to your laptop. There's EMP and protection from uh, electromagnetic pulse, GPS, this thing will be completely shut off from GPS. So when you've got your laptop or your device in one of these bags, you are completely off the grid. All right, not bad. This thing is basically like an open door. Uh, anybody, anywhere with the right tools, with the right know-how, with the right equipment, can very easily hack into this device and pull up all of my personal information that I've either put into here or stored. All right, so you guys can see, I'm just trying to update this, the background noise for all these little ads. Close it up with that magnetic strip. Nobody even knows this thing exists. It's completely hidden. Even though it's on, it's off. Let's go grab audio track from the last batch for this final this final replacement okay just got to bring in match the start point let's listen to this this thing right now is basically an open door to all of my personal information social security numbers my credit card numbers my phone numbers my passwords it's all in here and it's all exposed anybody with the right equipment the know-how time to hack into this thing can do this probably fairly all right so there you go we have um kind of successfully added new music it was three songs uh just kind of used them differently for seven different ads it's about finding the start point finding the end point changing the volume fading them out which we actually didn't do here let's do that drop a fade there um we did that guy and that guy and that one all right and now we can just export these send them all to the client um so hopefully that helped if you guys have specific questions on anything that was a little unclear drop them in the comment section below i'm going to be recording a lot more just premiere pro tutorials um, and online based software tutorials so if you guys are looking to create your own content or kickstart your own brands with content, online softwares, you know, kind of tips, tricks, and easy, free, simple tutorials, subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of stuff for you.